Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Uh, I know it has been a hot minute since I filmed. Um, I tried to take some time off for the holidays because it was just super busy and took some time for my family. So, um, but today I wanted to film for you a best of 2017 makeup. So these are my favorite products of 2017. Um, if you didn't like them, that's perfectly fine. I like them. So I wanted to talk about them and why I like them kind of quickly. I hope kind of quickly. Um, I'm afraid this video is going to be kind of long, so I'm going to stop talking and just dive right in. So the first thing I want to talk about is skincare. So I remove my makeup and I also prime my face by cleaning it with the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. Um, I use the all-in-one um, for removal of makeup, cleansing, and refreshing for all skin types, including sensitive skin. Um, there's a lot of makeup here, so buckle in, as I said. The next thing I like to use is the Origins Clear Improvement um, Charcoal Mask. Now, when I used to work at Sephora, this is what I would tell customers all of the time, is when you take your shower, close the door, turn off the fan, really steam up that shower. Um, when you get out, dab your face dry, and then put this on your problem areas, like your nose, your chin, you know, the pores in your cheeks, the pores in your forehead, and you will see this start to pull gunk out of your pores. It can be kind of gross, but it's very satisfying knowing that you're pulling all that stuff out of your pores and then you know you clean your face, you moisturize it, whatnot. So this one's a great one to use. Um, as far as serums, I really like the Caudalie Venosource Serum. Uh, it's the SOS Thirst Quenching Serum. Um, I have the travel size because the big one is expensive. So, but I really I got this one um, as a birthday gift from Sephora and I like to put it really anywhere. And I mean, I've used it five or six times and there's still quite a bit in here. So if you're looking to invest in something, it's a great investment. Um, moisturizers I've really found myself reaching for this year is the Glam Glow Volcasmic. It smells amazing. I ran out of my jar, so I have a couple of samples just tie myself over to buy more. That's how much I like it. Um, I really like that it does, it dries down and it sinks into your skin and it doesn't leave like that greasy film. So you can put it on before you put on your primer or your foundation and your makeup doesn't slip off of your face. Um, I really found myself liking sheet masks this year, like the full face sheet masks. Um, my daughter doesn't like them. <laughs> she says I look scary. I like them. And I like to use the brightening ones. Um, oh, I'm covering up her little face. I get mine at Target. Um, Ulta has a great selection of them. But I like the brightening ones because I have hyperpigmentation from years of sun abuse and pregnancy. So this helps brighten my skin and helps dull the look of that hyperpigmentation. So next, I guess we'll just go in order of makeup. So for primers, um, I really like the Smashbox Primerizer. I got a sample of it and I'm definitely thinking that's gonna be a purchase for this year. Um, I like to use that one all, kind of all over, but more where I get dry. So like my cheeks, um, up near my eyebrows and things. And then I like to use the the Smashbox is the photo finish oil free one in my T-zone or even use the Dr. Brandt Pores No More one because that one helps diminish the look of my pores and it also helps mattify a little bit. But the OG Smashbox photo finish primer is a fantastic primer if you're looking for one that'll last you for a while and multi-purpose. Now as far as foundation, so I have two. I have more high-end one and a drugstore one because I was reaching for them both kind of intermittently. So the first one is the Too Faced Peach Perfect um, Comfort Matte Foundation. Now, if you can get past the artificial fig smell, which does dissipate when you put it on your face, um, I have it in vanilla. I, I originally got it in nude, and I noticed it was a little too dark for me, so I switched out for the vanilla one, which is perfect, because um, my undertone is more of a neutral, cool undertone, not so much warm, and nude was a little too warm for me. I love this one. I got past the smell. <laughs> it's not as bad but it is an artificial fig and peach smell so just a forewarning that's going to deter you the regular born this way foundation by Too Faced has coconut water infused into it just as well the colors are synonymous with each other so if I wear vanilla on one it's the same exact color on the other the next one I use is the wet n wild photo focus foundation now this one is five dollars at Walmart five bucks for a foundation and it does a very good job this one has like a little, almost like a painter's um, tool on the end of it. So you can kind of dab it along your face and use whatever implement you use to blend your makeup in. 
but it's a great investment for five bucks. I mean, it does great. It has great coverage. And if you need covered other, other places, just put a little bit there. After you put on your first layer of foundation, just dab where you need more. So there's to it. Now, as far as concealers, there's really only one concealer for me. <laughs> and everyone talks about it. And I know I've talked about it before. Tarte Shape Tape. Get it at Ulta. You can get it at, um, well, it's exclusively at Ulta or at Tarte.com. But I use it in light sand. And it's got a huge doe foot applicator. I mean, this thing is absolutely massive. Um, a little bit goes a long way. I know a lot of beauty bloggers use a whole bunch of it, but I'm not a person that's going to blend out or conceal my entire face. This one is an amazing concealer. It's like I think 20 bucks, you get a huge amount. And I've had this for six months or so, and I'm hardly denting into it. I'm, I'm sure it's going to go bad before I actually can use it all. Um, the next thing are setting powders. So the one that I had, I had mentioned in my Sephora haul video is amazing. It is the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. I love the setting powder. You can bake with it. You can set with it. You can set your whole face, under eye, whatever. But as I said, I love that it's got this little thing on it. I know a lot of them do, but I just love it. I'm, I'm a weirdo. Um, and the other one I use is the Laura Mercier uh, Translucent Setting Powder. This one is so finely milled. It's is versatile as well as the Too Faced. I mean, really, they're almost the same. One's just a little more expensive than the other one, so take your pick. Um, I've really wanted to try the Patrick Star MAC Collaboration Setting Powder. Uh, I've been hearing nothing but rave reviews about it. It's sold out everywhere. <laughs> so maybe, maybe I'll pick that one up and save it for when this one goes out, but I mean, how often am I gonna go through setting powder? I don't use nearly as much as some people do. Um, now as far as face palettes, I know I bought a lot this year, so I limited myself to three. I do have some honorable mentions that I'll talk about at the end, but, um, so the first one I love is the Makeup Forever. It's the customizable palette. So you can get one, two, or three, and then you can make your own. Now I like about it because it's a sturdy palette and it's magnetic. So if you really didn't want to use it for these, you can still put six eyeshadows in it and, or you can do one of these and some eyeshadows, two of these and a few eyeshadows. But I have the bronzer, just an all over face powder, and then a highlighter. Now I do notice that when I had this set up the other way that I had some rub, um, some transfer from the contour palette, or the contour color. So I kind of had to switch them around, but you can pop them out. Uh, I can't tell you what the colors are off the top of my head and I'm not gonna use my nails popping out. As you see, I trimmed my nails, so I don't really have many or much. Um, the other one I'm gonna talk about is the new Becca Ooh, that's reflective. A Pre's Ski palette. Now, <clears throat> I use probably four of the six shades. What I really like about this palette is it's very heavy, but wherever I set the mirror, it stays. So it's great for traveling. Now, what I do use are the three highlighters. So this, these three here is the rose gold, the opal, and then the bluish one. So I like to mix them. The bronzer is a great color. This one is more for a darker skin tone. As you can see, I'm pale. But this one is great as an eyeshadow, so I can use, I can use it to deepen your crease. And to make the blush a little more wearable for me, I actually will um, mix it with the rose gold highlighter and that one to soften it because it's just a touch too harsh for my skin tone. But this is a great little palette. I think Sephora has had it on sale like two or three times since it was released. So it's like, I think a 40 or something dollar palette and they had it for as low as like 34 bucks, which for all of that was not too bad. And the last one I want to talk about, this one was in my Sephora video, the Benefit Cheek Parade. I like it because it has pretty much everything you're going to need. So it's got three, three blushes, but I don't use the dandelion as a brush, a blush. It really doesn't show up much for me if I use it as a blush, but these two blushes are great. I sometimes even mix these two. I will actually mix this and this one a little bit to warm up my face. And then of course the Hoola for your bronzer. Um, and then you can also use the Hoola Light just to kind of soften your highlighter if you put, or your contour, I'm sorry, if you put a little too much on, a little too heavy handed. But that's always a good thing you can do too. Um, let's see. So blush, I use two blushes. 
This one was not a new release. It's nowhere near a new release. It's probably what I would consider a cult favorite. It is the NARS Orgasm. Um, I like to mix this one with a little bit of a, well, this was, you can mix it if you want to with like a more peachy tone. Um, this one I'll dab once or twice and just put on. I don't have, I just put on foundation today and a little bit of contour and I was done with it because it's a Saturday and yeah, I didn't go full out. The other one that I like is, I actually got it, um, I actually don't remember where I got this one. Uh, this one is the Tarte Parte. It's the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. It's kind of like a peachier tone, so I'll use this one more day to day. I'll use the Tarte one, or the, I'm sorry, the NARS one when I'm really wanting to go all out. But this one, it's more of a day to day, peachy, nude um, blush, and this one travels with me a lot because it's nice and small. So next are my two face powders that I like to use. So one was quickly eclipsed by the other, but we'll talk about the first one. So the first one is by Rimmel. It's the Stay Mate Matte. I can't talk. Stay Matte. Um, I think at Walmart this thing is like $2. And you can put it wherever you get oily. Like this one in the summer was amazing. It helped stay matte and it didn't look too chalky, which was a great thing. But when I got this one in my Sephora haul video, I know I'm talking about that one a lot, but I bought products I knew I was going to use. But I did have to take this back and get a different color because I ordered it in a, a wrong color for myself. So it is the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. Now I bought it originally in shade three and it was more of a terracotta color. And I noticed when I would put it on my face, it looked almost muddy. Tried it like once or twice and I set it aside. I'm like, why am I leaving this $40 powder to the side? So I, I switched it out. I had to go to like a free staying Sephora. So when I flew out to Nebraska in November, I exchanged it and I got shade one. Now I use it daily, like literally every single day this goes on my face. Um, it is a great champagne-y color, but it's not too shimmery. It's a great just finishing powder. I use it to help blur the edges where my contour meets my face, um, soften my over makeup look, just put a little powder on top to help further set my face. It has become my go-to. I use it every single day and I cannot stop talking about it enough. The Laura Mercier Sheer Candle Glow Perfecting Powder. Let's see. Amazing! So this year was a little bit of a highlighter year for me. Oh, excuse me, we're all getting over colds. So I'll talk about five highlighters. So the first one I'll talk about is a Wet n Wild because it's, it's not super expensive. This one is like the rose gold one. I believe it's like precious metals or precious powder. But it is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. Now Wet n Wild released some great highlighters this year. So this one is more of a rose gold. It is so beautiful. I think it's like four or five bucks. I mean, you really can't go wrong with it. Drugstores this year, drugstore brands, really brought some great products out. The next one, which is currently on sale, so if you want to get this, you better go now. Sephora has it for $17, both in-store and online. I think it ends like on Tuesday. So if you want to get this, you better go get it now because I know a lot of the stores are sold out. This is the Becca Light Chaser Highlighter uh, Champagne Dream Flashes Bellini. So this one is another. I have so many of these colors, but I just can't stop. This one is a champagne, and it has kind of like a pinky flash to it when it hits certain light love this and it's a great small size I mean here it is in the palm of my hand it's small it travels well um, you can use and use it for your eyes like you can highlight your underneath your brow bone in between your or in your tear duct it's great the next one I'm actually wearing it today it is the ambient um, light powder luminous light by oh, no. <laughs> my hourglass yes I got the smaller one because I wasn't about to spend like 50 bucks on a palette but ah, it didn't break it it is champagne color, go figure. Um, but this one is a very subtle, so you can put like two, three, four layers on and still get like a nice glow. Like I put a layer or so on and then Aria took the brush and decided to put some salt on herself, which I wasn't too worried about because I'd already used it, but there you go. Now this one, I had to go to a freestanding Sephora to find because the Sephora inside JCPenney doesn't carry it. Heartbreaking. It is the Cover FX Custom Enhancing Drops, and I got it in shade Halo, which is a very, I'm not sure if you see, but holographic. It's kind of like an alien-esque look, 
um, but it's super cool and like one drop on each side of your face and just dab it in is all you need. So for 40 bucks, this thing will probably last me until um, forever. As I said with my concealer, it'll go bad probably before I use it all, but there you go. And then the last one, I can't not talk about it. It's like literally I ordered it from Sephora.com because I wasn't gonna wait another week to get it in store. It is the Anastasia Sugar Glue Kit. It is amazing. I probably used this, well I've had it for maybe a month or so. I think it was released in December. And you can see just how much I've used this palette. Um, Gumdrop and Starburst are my two absolute favorites. Butterscotch I like to mix with the marshmallow because uh, that makes a great shade. This one's a little too chalky for me to use on my own. You can see if I look at you straight on, it looks chalky if I use that one on its own. So I like to mix it or I'll mix it with stuff. I'm just, I mix it whomever I feel like wearing that day. I'll mix a little of the marshmallow with it. Um, next on my step is my eyebrows. So I ran out of my Anastasia Brow Wiz and I decided I don't want to go spend 21 bucks because I got from Sephora and gratis my Anastasia Brow Definer. So I got it for free from Sephora when I worked there. So I got it medium brown and this one is the one that's kind of triangular shaped. This one is great to use. Um, I'm not gonna go out and buy a new one when I have one, but I did find one from NYX. So this one I got at Ulta. This is their micro eyebrow pencil. I opened it the wrong end, of course I did. But this one is just like the Anastasia one in that it's very thin. There we go, it's very thin tipped. It's great for those micro brush hair strokes that you want to use. Um, and then another product that I use is the Chella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. I will use this one to fill in my eyebrows and just kind of thicken them up. So the cream itself is here at the very end. And then it's got a little brush it comes with that I will then dab in like once or twice and then fill in my eyebrows and kind of give it a little more dimension. And then I'll use a eyebrow brush or a spoolie and kind of comb it through. But that one is great. Let's see. Eyeshadow palettes. I only have three. Now, do you have some of my honorable mentions? Don't worry. But I only have three. I know. It's amazing. So the first one I'm going to talk about is um, kind of a, a duh moment. But it is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I use this one a lot this year. I was kind of concerned at first about the colors when it first came out, if I was really gonna use it. But I actually do use these red colors and I even use this one. So I was kind of surprisingly pleased. Um, this palette is a great palette. Uh, Anastasia comes out with some amazing eyeshadow palettes minus the one boo-boo they issued this year, but they fixed it, they said. But this one is great. It's got that little, little velvet um, feel on the front. I love that palette. The next one should be no surprise as it took me um, three restocks to finally get my hands on it. It is the Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe. It is a huge palette, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's almost the size of my head, if not more than that, because I don't have that big of a head. Um, it came with the um, names of it and I just kind of epoxied it on the back, but I really don't read the names of it unless I'm doing a tutorial, so. So it is kind of big to travel with, but it has a huge amount of colors to it. I mean, you can probably use this exclusively for 38 bucks that now carries at Ulta. So just double check Ulta.com and see if they carry it near you. Otherwise Morphe has it, but it just got such a wide variety of colors. I use this for um, Christmas and I use the reds and then I use this green to underline my eyes. These two, it was great. Use it to line. I travel with it. It's a great palette. Great, great palette. And the last one I bought this year was the Huda Beauty uh, Desert Dusk Palette. I was kind of on the fence with this one, if I wanted it or not. But then I saw it and I decided why not. <clears throat> it has got an amazing range of colors. This color, this one here, um, Celestial, Twilight, and then Retrograde. So this one and this one are duochromes. And this Cosmo is a... Um, packed in glitter <laughs> you know I don't wear much glitter so this one will probably never get touched but it's got such a great range of colors um, you have have your transition shades you have your reds and 
you have your browns. The only downside to this one is it doesn't have a dark brown or a black. So it's kind of hard to depth or depth deepen your crease or your outer eye. So that's my one caveat to this palette, but it is still such a beautiful, beautiful palette. Um, so next we will talk about mascaras. I used to this year a lot. It is the It Superhero Mascara. I love the brush. Um, this is on my short order to purchase for this year because I um, I bought the sample size just to see if I would like it or not. But I really like the brush itself. It's not super spiky. It's not like super oversized. So I don't have to worry about hitting my um, eyebrows or my lower lash line when I use it on my lower lash line. And then the other one is the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. This one uh, is a great drugstore brand. I think it's like seven or eight bucks. But this one has a slightly oversized. So this one, I did have a little difficulty using it in my lash line. So I would just use a different one, like my Super, or my It Cosmetics one. But I got it in waterproof, and you have to use cold cream or eye shadow remover or eye makeup remover to get this off. It doesn't budge. Um, now, as far as setting sprays, I use two if I use a setting spray, because personally, I don't always use a setting spray. I use a lot in the winter or in the summertime, not so much in the winter. Um, Urban Decay's All Nighter. This thing, you put this on your face and your face won't move until you decide to take it off. And the next one is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. Uh, I got this in a Sephora Playbox and this one, it's great. It It's packed with uh, antioxidants and whatnot and it's not, it doesn't dry your face out just like the Urban Decay one, you spray it on your face and it doesn't, I just like that it doesn't dry you out because sometimes with the all nighter, I notice if I already have dry skin, I'll use this one instead for like the winter because it doesn't make my skin feel like rough as the all nighter can if you have dry skin already. Now lip products, I don't wear a lot of lip products. Uh, I wear lip gloss and that's about it. But so as far as lip gloss, the Smith's Minted Rose Lip Balm, I think Sephora and Ulta carry it, but it is, it smells so good. <laughs> it smells like a minted rose brush. Um, but it's, it's one of those that I use whenever it's super dry outside. Like right now, I think it is four degrees, four degrees for us. So kind of cold. Uh, the one lip product that I did buy this year that I do use quite a bit, it is the Kat Von D Bow and Arrow. Um, it's a nice brown taupe finish. And then if I don't want to wear just that, I will wear the Becca Liquid Crystal Lip Topper Glow Gloss. And I believe, I don't know what the color is, because it blends in. I have it in Amethyst Slashes Geode. So it's a purpley, pinky um, lip gloss. Oh, let's put it on. And sometimes I'll wear it on my own just to give myself a little... A little something and as I said I have honorable mentions because I'm basically done with my favorites but there are three that I love these products I don't reach for them daily like I do the ones that I've talked about here or weekly because I know if they're three out of eyeshadow palettes I'm not going to use them weekly or daily the first one is the Tarte clay play face shaping palette um, the only reason I don't reach for this one daily is because it's a very matte look so these bottom ones I'll use for contour. I like to mix these two or just this one. You can use these eyeshadows as eyeshadows, eyebrows. Um, I'll use the stone for my eyebrows or this one here, which is dunes. I'll use them for my eyebrows. It smells like chocolate. Like that's the best way to describe it. It smells like chocolate. Um, but if I'm doing an eye look, I don't always like it to be a flat matte look. I like to have a little bit of glitter, so I just have to reach for something else. So if I take this one, I'll take another one of my small palettes that has a glitter to it. If I travel. <clears throat> the next one is the Tarte, or I'm sorry, it's Too Faced. Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Um, the one thing I don't like about this palette is the mirror is tiny. It is so hard to, I, I literally just frame my eyes. It's, it's not very easy to look at your eye makeup in this one. I do know that a lot of bloggers complain that it's very hard to see your whole face or do a whole eye look with this. I can do one. Um, there are enough mattes and crease building shades that you can use. So I don't really know. 
I don't know, I can build a whole eye look out of it. But it's got purple, it's got dark browns, it's got lighter browns, it's got shimmers and pinks. And as you can see, I probably never even dipped into this one. This one and this green shade are probably the only two that I'll never actually use. But I did get this as a gratis product when I worked for Sephora. So I was actually, this peach smell on it kind of deterred me at first. But cause Too Faced came with that whole peach smelling line. And it smelled just a little too artificial for me. But I can get over it to use this, especially since it was free and I didn't have to spend the 50 bucks to get it. Um, the last one I will talk about is another Morphe palette. It is the 25B, and I don't even have to open it. I wish Morphe would put all the clear tops on so you can see exactly the palette um, before you do your eye look. But this one is their bronzed one, so it's all for nude. Eyes are natural eyes. But there is a little bit of a purple in there, but majority, I like how it's set up. You have your transition shades, you have your glitter shades, and then down here you have all your darker colors. This one's a great one for traveling too. It's not too um, crazy. It's also a great one for traveling and it's not super big either. It's like a, a nice, what is that? Six by six, seven by seven, something like that. Not too bad. So that is essentially my best of 2017 makeup with some skincare. Uh, you have to throw in a little bit of skincare. You have to take care of your face, but that is it. So. Let me know what you want to see next. I know my sister wants me to do a smoky eye. Um, I don't do a lot of smoky eyes. So if you want to see that, let me know. Or if you want to see a tutorial on maybe the Huda Beauty palette or something else. If there's something specific you want me to do next, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video.